Hello, it's Tim from Toy Tinker Tim. In this episode, I'm doing a common repair. We're going to do an O ring T hook replacement and making a thumb repair in this 1982. G.I. Joe figures over 35 years old, so it's time for a tune-up here. It's a very basic, simple setup. In the middle of the back is a opening for a tiny Phillips head screw and uh, that holds the two halves of the chest section together. If you need to persuade the two halves here, um, just kind of work it open there a little bit and uh, you can take a tiny flathead screwdriver there and kind of work it in the two halves to help separate. There's no gluing of the halves together, it's just the one screw, but it can still be a little tight. So as you can see here, the rubber o-ring is quite dried out and stiff. It's frozen in a stretched out position here. So this figure's T-hook isn't broken, but if yours is, you can remove the screws on the inside of the upper thigh, and that will slide that open there to remove the T-hook out of the joint there, out of the socket. This one, like I say, is good, so I wanna just keep it in place. These O-ring T-hook sets, uh, they're very common on eBay and really very inexpensive. So putting our fresh o-ring in is a simple matter. You just slide it over or under the T-hook and work that up through the bottom of the waist piece. Then it just pulls up and then you slide that over this center shaft type piece that the screw goes through in the figure's back.
Before you start to attach any of the epoxy onto the hand to repair the thumb, clean that spot, the area that's been broken, with some uh, alcohol to get off any kind of uh, oil or debris to make sure you got a good bonding surface there. So the material I'm using for the thumb repair is this steel stick. It's a uh, epoxy putty. And the way this works is that you squeeze and knead it together. And uh, once you have it all mixed, it, it has a uniform color. It's kind of a dark color. So it dries a little lighter. But uh, to me, it's a nice base color to uh, work on for painting that way. Epoxy putty, it sets up in like five minutes and uh, the full cure time is one hour. Now, if you want to avoid recreating thumb, you could go hit the auctions on eBay. Look for a uh, similar figure people are selling either in parts or something like that and just swap out the whole arm. But I'm just going to work with what I've got versus buying more parts and uh, having extra things lying around here. I've got enough of that going on already. So after the epoxy's been worked, kneaded together, we're just starting to work the epoxy putty onto the hand for the thumb repair. The epoxy is almost the texture of Play-Doh at this stage. Given the epoxy putty a solid hour to cure, it can start to file it with some needle files. It's a gradual process of filing it and shaping it uh, to mirror the left hand thumb.
So the paints I'm going to use uh, for the hand here to do a color match work on, uh, I've got a uh, titanium white, a raw sienna, I'm going with a cadmium yellow, and just to tinge or touch up, add in a little dark some burnt umber there also. So when I'm mixing the paint, I'm going to start with the white first as my base and then begin to add color to that. It's a little bit easier for me to go back and lighten it up in case I mix it too dark. When you go to try to do any kind of color matching on a figure, don't look to try to color match it just straight out of the tube. You're going to get the best match and a uh, more natural look to it if you do take the time to carefully mix your paints.
After the first second coat there I'm seeing I needed to add a little bit more of the yellow so that's something to keep in mind. There's a lot of yellow in this skin tone. So I've gone on about four coats. These are light coats, almost like a wash of the uh, acrylic mix that I did for the skin tone. And I'm using a gloss varnish over that. It's a sealer. And then also this will match the shiny texture originally there of the hand. If you have the patience to work on the thumb, that's a good thing because reassembling it and balancing the parts to attach the front and the back with the arms and the head, it'll, it'll test your patience here. So to recap here on the supplies, I'm using the steel stick epoxy putty for the thumb repair. And there's the O-ring and T-hook for the internal fix on the body. Needle files to shape the thumb. And the main ones I used in this were the tapered, slightly rounded side file. There's a uh, tapered file that's totally rounded. And a tapered file with flat sides to it. So then on the acrylic paints, I just had the titanium white. I used a raw sienna. And then I had the cadmium yellow and some burnt umber added in there. And then as a sealer over it, once the hand was all painted, the acrylic gloss varnish, it's a resin material that's painted over there to seal and protect that. And that wraps up this repair. And um, you know, the info here, like reconstructing this thumb, these are things you could use for making repairs or even alterations for custom figures of your own if you want to build up other things. And uh, so I hope this was useful for you, a good use of your time. And hit the like, hit the share, and please be sure to hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.